Gifu and Aichi in the central area of Japan. My Gifu and Aichi trip began here in Makomejuku. Makomejuku is a town that once flourished as a post town. Now, it is a hugely popular tourist spot. The local sweets were so tasty. The next stop was Imasen Inuyama Karakuri Museum. They have traditional karakuri dolls on display and performances. I was surprised that the puppets could move in so many different ways. They also showed me an easy way to make them move. This is Inuyama Castle, one of Japan's national treasures. I was deeply impressed to be able to see the inside of a castle where history can be felt. Taking a break while gazing at the castle was awesome, since the autumn leaves were also at their most beautiful. The lady at the old Japanese-style house was so kind, she took good care of me. The Japanese dishes were incredibly delicious and healthy. The kotatsu warms you right to the core. The next day of my trip started with a visit to a temple called Toyokawa Inari. The mysterious area is filled with a sacred feeling. The view of the sacred fox statues lined up is stunning. Off to the next town by train. The view from the train was beautiful. Next, I visited the Matcha Museum. I learned about how our much-loved matcha is made. I also participated in a matcha tea ceremony experience. The instructor showed me how to prepare and drink matcha. And finally, to the Japanese umbrella store that captured my heart for some time. All the umbrellas lined up in the store are lovely. What's more, they are elaborately made real pieces of art. A trip through the countryside, experiencing the traditional culture and history of Gifu and Aichi. I met a lot of people and had an unforgettable time.